Okay, how's it going, everybody? My name is Kevin, and uh, this is a Mackie Control Universal I picked up last night off of Craigslist Used, and I just wanted to make this video to document some issues I've run into when using it with uh, Reaper and using the Clink version 0.8.3.4 plugin um, and the latest Mackie firmware. So let's just turn it on to show that it works. And then calibration passes. Uh, this guy is just missing the fader cap, but it works fine. I just need to buy another one of these and throw it on there. But other than that, yeah, it's just, it was just missing the fader cap. Um, so let's just go into here. So first thing, on Reaper Startup, text is garbled. Remnants of the Reaper initializing, please wait message. So I just downloaded these sample projects from the Reaper site. You could find these on coco slash reaper slash samples dot php so this is going to be at the bottom it's called so let's open that and as you can see here now we have the text uh just all sorts of messed up um so usually this says when you first load it up it says reaper initializing please wait so you can see the remnants of that of <clears throat> of the reaper exclamation initializing dot 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 please wait dot 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 those last three dots so this isn't breaking but it's just obviously inconvenient when um i mean the whole point of this guy is just being able to look at each channel and process them and you could tell how you could see how if you're working with more than five tracks there's only five tracks in this if you're going through banks, going through channels, um, trying to keep track of all the channel, which channel you're working on, and the name isn't right, then um, that's just not going to be good for you. And uh, so that was one thing. Number two, switch over to this view. Faders don't all snap to their current DAW position. I have to manually use the channel button to scroll through each channel to refresh its position. So as you can see already, um, the first channel... We're at plus 2.17 uh, dB, and on the MCU, the first channel faded and update. Same thing with the third and fourth channels. These guys just did not update. But like I said, what fixes it is going through this channel button. So this left and right, so that moves the channels over. So now once we go, so we'll move the second channel to the first channel. And now, as you can see, all of these guys also updated. So now if we go back and bring the first channel back to the first channel, now it's at its proper position. If I touch this, 2.1, like uh, just like what Reaper said. So that's also one thing where you could also see, like this was a quick fix right here, but if you have more than five tracks and you have to go through, and actually I'll show this with the other uh, sample project. If you have to go through this for who knows how many tracks, like 20 tracks, get annoying and the bank button doesn't doesn't fix this only the channel buttons uh work as i'll show and then another thing is the buttons don't always correlate um same solution sometimes because it doesn't always fix it um and actually i'll show that with this here we'll open up this second project um it was in this other folder oh yeah it it's called side right here we go. So some of these faders just updated. Um, no, actually, I was editing this, and I muted all these. So as you can see, this is actually a good example because all these first eight tracks are muted, right? One through eight. But on here, this mute one didn't update. Neither did this uh, fader update. Um, so... Like I said, to update the fader, we can just hit the channel button again and then go back. And now the fader's back, but the mute button still isn't on. So the fader updated, but the mute button didn't update. So what works is if I um, press the mute button on the Mackie, it'll stay muted because this is toggling the mute on here, right? Oh, actually... I thought it was going to stay muted, but it actually untoggled it. So maybe it's just like a hardware thing where in the software, 
it knows it's muted, but it's just not showing the light. Maybe it's just not updating properly. Cause it seems like it knew it was muted, but it just unmuted. Or maybe I don't know. Maybe some weird MIDI thing where there was a clash and maybe the software overwrote it or something. But now this works, as you can see. Um, so yeah, these eight channels. So like I said, this text up here is still messed up. Um, hard to, and actually we're seeing Weirdo, which is from the last track. It just didn't update. Uh, now if you go through these channels, you get some of the stuff, but it's just all kind of a mess up here. Like, I just went left and right, and, and bases was still like in the same spot. <laughs> So like I said, you can see how this could be inconvenient when you just want to you just want to you know work on the levels, just looking at this thing, and you can't even tell what you're work what you're looking at. But other than that, like I said, the faders all work when I go through the channels. Uh, so do so do the rotaries, and these buttons all work as well. If we like go back here and actually, so if we go bank all the way back, let's unmute all these guys. So that we can actually hear this. Uh, the fader is down here, so it looks like that synced up. So this works, right? Transport works fine. Oh, actually, the Reaper's offline right now. Let's go into here because I have two monitors running. So I had to just make it the active window. I don't think it starts until this guy. So this master fader works fine. And if only I could look at this. It's not my project, so I'm not sure what all the tracks. So track three um, is drums. So if we bring down the drums, that works, right? The drums folder. Uh, one thing, though, if we look back at this text, um, Unity, I'll also touch up on that. But the group read doesn't move the fader. So, or like the folder, folder read. So. We have automation on this drums channel, as you can see. Um, so now if we select it right here, it's already selected. And then we click read this button right here. And then we go back into Reaper. This fader should be moving. Uh, if we go like down here, see this automation down here. It's at like minus 9 dB and then it goes up. It's just not moving at all on here and maybe this is just an error on my part I'm not sure do I need to enable something else but like if I go into this other project oh it's in another tab it's just right here um, okay so that works moving between projects like that but maybe just on initial reaper load because yeah you can see the master fader updated um, but like the automation with this guy so we select, and the text up here is still messed up. Like, if we switch between projects, text barely refreshes or is, like, is correct. Um, but, yeah, if we... Uh, let's make this active again. This channel 5, is it the last channel, has this automation up here. And so we just set it to read. So I click the read button again. And now that's set to read, and you saw the fader just move. So now if we go, uh, let's bring this master down. So now this fader is moving by itself, is reading properly. So is the, the panning up here. So yeah, like other than that, everything everything else works fine, except for those issues where it doesn't properly update when I first open, and then the text up here, the LCD. And um, there's just this Unity issue as well, where if I, let's say for instance, we double click this, bring it to zero dB. If you can see on the Mackie, it's, it's a little below U, the Unity gain. So like moving it to U is like right there. It's kind of hard to see on the, on the camera because this is a webcam, but do you see these arrows? These three arrows are are now at Unity. And now if we touch them, we'll see that it's actually, Reaper reads it as 1.1, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0
12.7. I guess that was a little off. 1.2, that's... So it's just like unity on here equals... I had it as plus 1.5, but maybe it's more like plus 1.1, 1.2. So I'm not sure if that's a clink or a Reaper or a hardware issue, but that's also something I found. Um, I mean, like I said, it's not completely breaking because as long as all these things are relative when I'm listening to it, it's just, I'm just moving the faders relatively, then it's fine. But it's just annoying when like to be able to see it at unity, but it's not. So those were just some issues, um, that I ran into. I forgot to mention, or maybe I did, but I'll mention it again. I am using a MIDI to USB cable. So there's, this is the Mackie Control Universal non-pro version, so there's no USB. So I used a MIDI to USB cable to connect it into my computer. I do, I did order a MIDI to MIDI, a dual MIDI cable, and then I, I'll try that, plugging it into my audio interface and seeing how that works if I still run into the same issues. Um, but until that, until then, uh, yeah, these are just some things that I ran into. So I was just making this video to document these issues. Maybe someone else ran into these and they have a solution or maybe they don't have a solution and it's just um, somewhere where you can uh, let me know, let other people know that you are also running into these same issues and then um, you can bring them up to maybe it's something in Reaper or the Clink plugin. And I know that uh, the guy behind Clink, I don't know if his name is Clink himself, but whoever the guy behind uh, Clink, he's doing it, you know, out of his own spare time. So beggars can't be choosers, but maybe if we bring up these issues, these widespread issues, potentially widespread issues, I'm not sure if anyone else is running into these. Like maybe it could just be my hardware. Um, but uh, if a lot of people are experiencing these issues, then maybe we could get these problems on, you know, higher priority for the next time he's able to, you know, take a look at this stuff. Cause like I said, he's just doing it out of, um, his own love for, for Reaper and Mackie and, uh, the community. So like I said, it's all in his hands, but maybe if we voice these issues, then it'll get more, um, attention. So yeah. Uh, that was just some of the things that I ran into when using this Mackie Control Universal. Um, I don't regret buying it. I bought it used at a great price. It's just, like I said, minor inconveniences. But still, the fact that I can have a, a tactile surface that maps to my DAW is, is pretty awesome. I'm just getting used to it. I've only messed around with these sample projects. Um, so I, I can't wait to use it on my own stuff. So uh, yeah, feel free to let me know. And have a good one.